This is News Trail, your daily dose. Welcome to News Trail this Wednesday, 6th April 2022. I am Adetola Kayodi. President Muhammadu Buhari says Nigeria's rising prominence as Africa's fertilizer powerhouse can be attributed to the implementation of the right policies by the present administration. Addressing the Executive Committee of Fertilizer Producers and Suppliers Association of Nigeria, Buhari says with the country's over 70 blending plants operating in a very short period of time, had ensured a steady flow of investments from the private sector, bringing prosperity to millions of Nigerians and good returns to to the investors. CBN Governor Godwin Emefiele says the Apex Bank has continued to place great importance on the availability and accessibility of fertilizer by farmers to improve yield, productivity and ultimately output. As the 2023 general elections is fast approaching, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has asked political parties to ensure their primaries are properly conducted in line with relevant laws. INEC's National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, Festa Sokoye, warned that the electoral agency will not hesitate to disqualify parties whose primaries do not adhere strictly to the principles of internal democracy. He also advised parties to avoid contentious primaries that may lead to unnecessary lawsuits. Meanwhile, INEC released the timetable earlier this year with the presidential and national assembly elections scheduled for Saturday, 25th February 2023 and followed by the governorship and state assembly elections on Saturday, 11th March 2023. The United States and its allies have prepared new sanctions on Moscow over civilian killings, which President Volodymyr Zelensky described as war crimes, as heavy fightings and Russian airstrikes pounded the besieged port of Mariupol. The southern city of Mariupol has been under attack by Russian forces and constantly bombarded since the early days of the invasion almost six weeks ago, trapping tens of thousands of residents without food, water or power. The British military intelligence says the humanitarian situation in the city is worsening. Moscow denied targeting civilians in Butcher and described evidence presented as a monstrous forgery staged by the West to discredit it. New sanctions set to be unveiled Wednesday are in part a response to Butcher. And that's it all news show for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Adetola Kayodi. Have a fantastic day.